Okay, clarinet players. We're going to work on learning how to read our notes. So if you're having a hard time recognizing the notes on the music staff and knowing the note name and being able to put the right fingering to the note, um, this three-step process that I'm going to show you, there are three steps, should help you. So if you do this every day and practice this for a few minutes each day, you will get much better at recognizing your notes. Okay, so you need your clarinet. So either pause the video or grab it really quickly. And we're going to get started here. We're in Lesson 7, page 24, step by step. Okay? Step number one. You are going to name the notes. I'm going to count it off in tempo, a slow tempo, and I'm going to point to each note and you are going to name the notes as we do this. If you forget and you're not sure what note it is, the name of the note or the fingering, you're going to need to go back to one of the previous lessons where we introduced these notes and look at it. So you're going to have to reference the book to help you remember. After a while, you won't have to do that. You'll, after repetition, you will be able to just recognize a note and say it without having to do that. But if you need to, use your book to help you, okay? We're going to name the first five notes of the song right now. Just the first, just the first five notes, okay? Here we go. I'm going to count it off and let's name the notes. One, two, ready, go. C, D, E, D, C, rest, rest. Great. Let's do that one more time. One, two, ready, say it. C, D, E, D, C, rest, rest. Great. Step two. You are going to name the note, just like you did, and you're going to finger the note on your clarinet. So on the clarinet, C is three fingers down, D is two fingers down on your top hand, E is one finger down, and of course you have your thumb key in the back on all those three. The D is two fingers down with your thumb key in the back, and then back down to C, all three fingers down. Okay, so now you're going to say the note, and you're going to finger the note on your clarinet. Here we go. One, you're not playing, you're just fingering and naming. One, two, ready, go. C, D, E, D, C, rest, rest. Great. Step three. Okay, step three is now you will play these five notes. Now, if step two, you were still having a hard time naming them and fingering them, you need to do that step a few times until you feel like you can get this and now play it. Okay? So here's the third step. Now you're going to play these five notes. I will point to them as we play. So get your clarinet ready. Here we go. We're going to start on the note C. One, two, ready, go. C, D, E, D. C, rest, rest. Good. Let's do it one more time. One, two, ready, go. C, D, E, D, C, rest, rest. Good. Once you feel confident with those five notes, let's go to the next five notes of step by step. Okay? Starting on the note D. All right, here's the tempo. Just name the notes. One, two, ready, go. D, E, F, E, D, rest, rest. The F, remember your F note is just the thumb on the back of your clarinet. Okay, all right. All right, step two, you're gonna name the note and finger the note. Here we go. So you're not playing yet. One, two, ready, go. 
D E F E D rest rest. Great. If you didn't get that, if you stumbled a little bit, then do that process again and do step two, saying the note and fingering the note. Okay. All right. Step three is now to play the, the five notes. Okay. So I will point at them as you play along. Okay. So get your clarinet. Here we go. One, two on the note D. D. E. Okay, that's the three-step process that you should use for any song that you feel like you have a hard time reading. You take the first little portion, maybe the first two measures of the song, and you do that over and over, then go to the next two, okay? And then maybe put those all together and play that on your clarinet. The next five notes, you would do the same thing. Name the five notes, name and finger the note, and then play them. Okay, that's the three-step process. If you do this with every song, you will get better and better at recognizing the notes and being able to play. So practice this at home. Thank you so much.